In this video, I want to talk about the why race and why you should do it. Now, the last thing I want to be known as is a functional trainer, but I'm really about functionality as far as keeping uh, muscle strength balances in check. For example, your pushing and pulling strength should be similar. I'm a big believer in not only working the upper traps, but working those lower traps. Many of you may be familiar with my straight arm uh, dip exercise and my straight arm press down exercise. That's to train the lower traps. Look, if you have strength imbalances, I'm not talking about looking uh, like you have muscle imbalances here. I'm talking about having strength imbalances that are going to cause you to have pain, particularly in the neck and shoulder. So a lot of people have neck and shoulder pain and it's due to weak lower trap muscles. Well, the Y raise is just another way to work those lower trap muscles so that you keep those strength imbalances in check and you avoid not only imbalances in development, but pain as well. So to do the Y raise, you can do it with dumbbells. I'll also show you a band version, but to do the dumbbell version, you can lie down on either a flat bench if it allows you to um, bring the arms down low enough or you just put an inclined bench up and then put your lower chest on the bench so that your torso is not too far angled and more uh, horizontal. From here, you're gonna focus on keeping the thumbs sort of out as you come up. And so that's why it's called a Y raise. You're not going straight up. That would be an I. You're forming a Y at the top position. So keeping the thumbs up, thumbs up guys, you're going to lift the dumbbells up and out as high as you can to a Y. Now, some of you, I'm using five pound dumbbells here. This is how weak the lower traps tend to be. Some of you will find that using just the arms is enough resistance. Just the weight of your arms is enough resistance to train those lower traps. So you're going to start with the arms hanging straight down and then simply with the thumbs pointing up, bring your arms up and out to form a Y at the top and then slowly lower back down. Now you don't want to use all momentum. If you can't get that full range of motion, and most of us can't, you can do a bit of faster reps in the beginning, but make sure you do a few slow reps as well where you're not relying on momentum to lift your arms, but you're allowing the lower traps to do the work. And you'll feel, just with the arms, you'll feel that burn where you've probably never felt it before. Lower traps, that means you're hitting them properly. I'll show you the band version which you don't need a bench for, you can just do standing. You're gonna take a band and tether it to a low point here. I'm using my uh, Body Elastics uh, tether, uh, one of the uh, tether bands that comes with this kit. Because the, with this, just like my band barrier, this, because it's padded, is gonna prevent rubbing in the band and it's gonna prolong the life of the bands. So you're gonna place that, like I said, at a low tether. And what's nice about the bands is because this is a Y raise, you're not just bringing the hands up, but you're bringing them up and out. The line of pull from the bands mimics the hands. You wouldn't get that with just dumbbells. So you're really able to focus on targeting those lower traps with the band. So you're going to start, and again, you're going to keep the thumbs up, holding the bands, and simply go from arms being perpendicular to straight up as high as you can, and back down. And I'm not using, this is the lightest band, that's really all it takes. Start extremely light so that you can maximize the range of motion first before you worry about how much weight you're using. That's really the best way to target those lower traps. So you could use either version to uh, work those lower traps. You can check out 
my programs like the Daily Grind, which incorporate this exercise, or you can place this in your own program. I would add this at the end of my shoulder training after doing your upper trap exercises. Add this in at least once a week and you should be good to go. If you have any more questions on the Y rays, make sure you hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And as always, stay gym army strong.